Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody left me a message off one of my videos wanting to know how to remove the text, but they want the dimension to it, but they don't want the text inside. Well, there's a lot of ways to do this, or well, there's two, at least two ways. I still have the text in there, but I left or right or left click no fill because the text is a fill. So let's just draw a a rectangle, and just to kind of show you that it's not there, and we will put it to the back of the page. And you can see that the red line is there, but there's no text or any kind of box there. The other way to do it would be this like this right here. Let's just redo this line. Let's take a two-point line, and I guess he's doing it because he doesn't want the dimension. He just wants the arrows holding down the control button so you get a perfect a perpendicular line. Take the, I put a mark in the middle, and I'm going to double-click a node, and I'm going to arrow up, arrow key. I am nudged it up two inches. I'm going to put another one. I'm going to nudge that one down. So that's going to give us a space. We're going to select both those. We're going to right click and we're going to break it apart. And if you grab that and then hit delete, it's deleting that line. Now what you also want to do is go ahead and go up to object and break curve apart. That'll make these two lines separate. And now we can put an arrow on one of them. And you'll see that it's put an arrow to the top of the page, but not the bottom of the page. Now we'll take the other one and add an arrow to it. Now we can grab both those lines and let's make them thicker. Let's make them 10 points for the video and make them in black. And now this one we put on the wrong end, but you can very easily flip it. So now you have a space four inches apart uh, for writing, and that could be, you can change that. You could grab that nudge. Let's do this. Let's let's change the nudge factor to one inch. And let's grab that node right here and nudge it down one inch. Let's click on that and see how it's going to fill that in with blue. Now you've got that space between there that's a little bit more narrow. That's probably the best way if you want some more visible lines. Because the the, uh, the I don't really know of a way to make this line uh, where you could see it better. Let's just try. Let's try going. Yeah, so that would work either way. That kind of gives you the the nodes and whatever, and you can make that any color you want. Just slick, uh, double click on it and make it black. That might be the easiest way, except for it's here. And that's going to give you this little starting and stopping point. But like we can see, there's nothing back there. The, the text is really gone. The only advantage is that you could add it back. Anyway, I hope it answers his question, and thank you for watching.